Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to The Restoration Couple. Today, our challenge is to turn all of this rough sawn timber that's been sat here for far too long into something usable and something that we can create our cabinets with. So stick around and we'll give it a go. Okay, so if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that I've got this big stash of rough sawn uh, boards here. And if, if there's anything I can save on when we're doing this van conversion, it's timber. Because I don't want to go out and buy fancy plain square edge timber if somehow we can turn this into it for free. This is the sort of uh, timber that I'm expecting to get out. This one I've put through the planer a couple of times and as you can see really clear grain only a couple of knots I think the first thing we need to do is to cut them down into a little bit more manageable sizes all of the stuff I need is kind of less than a meter long and I think just putting stuff through the planer it's gonna be much easier much more manageable if we can shorten them first now the maximum width our planer takes is 300 mil so 12 inches but I would rather keep them uh, probably even half that. It's easier on the planer and also there's going to be less to take off if that makes sense. If there's a big cup in a 12 inch board uh, then we're going to have to do so many more passes and all of the stuff I need is only about kind of 50 mil battens really. Right, so my thinking is I'm going to extend the rather short sort of in-feed, out-feed bed of the planer with a board. So I didn't bore you with the, uh, the construction of that, but all I've done is spent a long time fiddling with the in-feed and out-feed table here to get them as flat as possible. And then I've also made this uh, from a flat board. Now, there's a little ledge either side which slots over both pieces to stop that moving. And this will give us a chance to test out our new kind of dust extraction system with a cyclone. Although it isn't properly rigged up to the uh, exhaust on this because it's not quite big enough, but it should get rid of most of it. That's gone okay, I think uh, I've got some strips of 18 mil, kind of three quarter inch stock. That All I'm using so far is just off cuts from around the workshop. Uh, so the thinnest stuff I've taken down to 18, and then I had, well most of the boards are quite thick actually. So I've taken those ones down to 25. The first board that goes through gets a bit of snipe on it. So I'm obviously going to leave things long, uh, there's going to be sanding to do and it probably would be worth changing the knives in the planer at some point. But, like I said, this is all, the, this first batch is all for the internal sort of carcassing.
Hopefully you can hear me, I've got the washing machine going on and there's chickens coming in and out, it's all going on. Most of them are 25 mil and there are a handful, like these last ones which I've done 18 because they were slightly thinner anyway. So all of this stuff here I'm going to cut down into kind of 50 by 25 batten because that's kind of big enough that I can use that for structural stuff. And then all of the narrower boards, the thinner boards, sorry, are going to be cut down into the face frame stock. So 30 mil is going to be our face frame. Uh, so what we need to do is over, because I want to plane those as well, uh, we'll over cut these so we can then plane those the other way, if that makes sense. So because we're down with jointed to get a nice flat face, I've cut everything on the table saw and that actually leaves a pretty good side. So I'm just using a straight edge here to reference my good side and then I'll make a mark of which is my good side. Alright, so I've made up all of those to 32, 33 mil. So I'm hoping now they'll be straight enough from the table saw that we can then put them through the thicknesser and they should hopefully be square. Well, I think we did alright. We've certainly got the majority of what we need planed up. Everything's come out as good as you would buy from a shop, I think. And it's certainly going to be a bit stronger than using pine. I mean, it is a hardwood, but it's not a hard hardwood. So this is all the structural stuff that we're going to build the cupboards and carcasses from, especially the ones that are going to be weight-bearing either seats or what's carrying the worktop or holding fridges and things. And then over here is this slightly more refined stuff that I've picked out which will make all the face frames. Still a few more bits to experiment with. I'm going to try and do some infill panels and try and resaw these down to a sort of half inch, 12 mil sort of thickness. But that's for another day, so I think that's it. Any questions let me know. I'll leave a link to that Dust Commander Cyclone below. I've featured that in a video as well, so I think that will be the last video that I've done. So the foundation work's done, and I guess the next thing to do is to start building us some cabinets. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself, and we'll see you next time.